What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, my name is Chance and this is my YouTube channel, Local Boy Finance, where we talk about personal finance, stock investing, money saving tips, and some crypto. In this video, we're at the end of August and as usual, I'm gonna be providing you guys with a portfolio update on what my portfolio is looking like currently right now, what I've been buying, what did I get rid of, what kind of option trades I've been doing, and really, if you guys can do me a huge favor is like the video it helps with the youtube algorithm getting this channel more noticed and recognized also subscribe if you haven't done so because i do see the analytics on the, my uh, page and you guys haven't been subscribing but you guys have been watching so subscribe appreciate it click the notification bell every time i post a video you guys get notified and you can watch it but anyway uh lastly check out my patreon page again same spiel here uh, basically, you can see all my option trades. You can see all my monthly statements before I even do it on YouTube, if not, or if I do it, even if I show it on YouTube or at all. So you get first tabs at that, and really, it's just making ten dollars a month. There's only a couple more spots left, and we can generate money together in your retirement accounts or whatever account you guys want to prefer. But anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna jump right into the video. So in this video, right, I'm giving you a portfolio update of August 2021. Right now, currently as you will see in my accounts uh, i did some rearranging here and there and there is a lot of long call options or leap options long equity anticipation um, securities right uh, basically it's equivalent to buying 100 shares of the underlying stock or index fund or whatever you want to you know you're trading or whatnot but again this is uh more like pretty much buying 100 shares without paying the full price of it basically and it's leverage so again it doesn't take uh the stock price to move too much in order to get the same returns if i were to buy the stock 100 shares outright which would you know obviously if the stock price goes higher uh the more leverage i have right but again that's what's a little riskier because you know if things go south um definitely things can go south but again these are long call options but anyway, we're going to jump right into it and I'm going to show you guys basically what I have been buying and I'm just going to show everything because I'm not going to, you know, prolong this video for you guys and waste you guys time and whatnot. So unlike some other YouTubers and whatnot, but anyway, so here's everything right here. Um, this is my individual account that I have right now in front of you uh avon brands obviously i'm down so as you can see i'm majority in red we're still coming back from a correction uh, that recently happened in about a month and maybe a few couple weeks but it's obviously this past friday it's been coming up uh, on the whole you know stock market in general you can see obviously crypto is coming up and then also uh stocks are coming slowly coming back up again since their little pullback they had recently but with that being said um avon brands obviously that's a very very long call or very very um long position i have uh, i really don't care what happens with that i mean it's only like 64 cents uh bngo obviously it's one of my favorites that i like to trade options on or sell premium on so i have it at a five dollar put right now because it did drop between like 5 30 so i picked up uh or sold a contract on that currently uh, CRSR, basically a 2023 call option. So I bought this call anticipating that, you know, CRSR is going to be a huge, it's going to be a home run um, just from, you know, looking at their, you know, balance sheet and their 10 Qs and 10 K, the annual report and doing my research on that. As you all know, um, Planet uh, 13 Holdings, I've held this stock since last year. I'm going to continue holding this stock. I was tempted to buy it uh, to add more uh, shares in my position and maybe outgrow my or grow my uh, individual account maybe to a thousand dollars or a thousand shares of this stock. Um, but it didn't drop far enough for me. It did get into the four dollar range, which it was looking really nice. Um, but I would like to get it maybe around like 470. I, I know my price point on here is like four dollars and 33 cents, but again uh this is a long-term play i am up on it already like 16 percent and the stock is significantly down since it's all-time highs here but huge huge play on the cannabis industry um and really um i've done multiple videos on it so go check it out uh cd uh, sdc um smile direct company um 
this is a play this is more of a riskier play for me i don't really do this just because it's i i did the research on it and basically these guys are doing very very well it's just a matter of a short-term hiccup because of the delta variant going on right now and whatnot but again they're really at their all-time lows and they're previously trading at 18 dollars a share so i ended up picking up five contracts of call options on it um, for roughly a thousand dollars but again it comes with risk but these are long you know leap options 2023 so again this is kind of what i've been this is kind of like a little bit more of my riskier play here but i do see the re i do see it doing very well within the next year or two because uh, it's a, a pretty much equivalent competitor to braces or even invisalign so that's kind of what i was looking at here for this one now as you all know we're looking at tattooed chef um did multiple videos on that tattooed chef i did uh, add a little bit more shares into my position so i'm sitting at a nice 1100 shares just in my individual account at a price point of 21 dollars and 40 cents and i like it there I, I will buy more as the coming weeks go on if the stock drops to uh like 15 16 dollar range i'm pretty comfortable there um, i know i'm down 1400 but it's not that big a deal uh, that's another long-term play that i think is going to be a home run hit here i am selling call options against or sell call options against it so just roughly four uh, contracts so it's about 400 shares of it so um just playing uh, the short-term game here making some gains so you know got a hundred dollars from that right below it uh, moving on to the TTCF $15 put, basically when those the market dropped the TTCF to around $18, I just bought or I sold the uh, cash secure put on it. I definitely don't believe it dropping below $15, but even if, if it did, I would pick up you know 100 shares at $15, which is a plus for me because obviously I like the stock. So I made short-term gains there. Um, TTCF, the 12.5 call and the $22 uh, 50 cents call see these calls are definitely long-term plays obviously they're call options leap options uh 2023 both of them um definitely see a home run again like i mentioned before a ttcf on these ones but um more of a gambling play but since i bought these at such a low price when the you know i think ttcf hit like 15 dollars this is when i kind of jumped on this so obviously as the stock price goes up leverage and all that good stuff so um Right now, my biggest disappointment right now is very good food company. Uh, currently, my price point is three, or my cost basis is $3.22. I have around 2,600 shares of this stock. Um, again, play on a vegan space, huge competitor against the uh, you know possible meat or beyond meat and all that good stuff, but way better quality. Um, coming from British Columbia, just to give you a little um, spiel about it, but good. Check out my other videos on it, why I love it so much. And this is definitely a long-term play. They just got into the US, so it's just a waiting game for now for me for that. Um, definitely, it's been kind of easily steadying around the $2.30 and like 30 cents range. So uh, I would like to add more, but I'm kind of comfortable in that position already. I just don't want to get my money more tied up into that position, but I do believe in it long-term. So that's kind of where I'm sitting at. And then lastly, Wynn Resorts, I did buy a long call option for it. Stock dropped to like, oh my gosh, it dropped down to like 80, low 80s, which I think is a huge pickup if you bought into it. Um, and really, I don't want to buy 100 shares. I would love to own 100 shares of Win, but the thing is it's just too expensive. I don't have 10 grand waiting around. Um, so I basically bought long call options on it when it was in that price point so a little bit pricier on the long call options but again this stock before you know the little bit of a pullback here was trading at you know 130 dollars 140 dollars um but again back when it was before covid and for all this co um, stuff um happened uh, they were trading at almost 200 dollars or they got up to 210 dollars so that would be a huge play on me on that so moving on to my next um account here uh again this is my retirement account now you can take a look at this as well obviously i'm pretty even on both accounts almost i do have a third account but we're not going to go over that right now it's just pretty much my car account um that i've been just saving up money for a new car if you don't know me my car is um pretty awesome but it's a it's a rush bucket but whatever <laughs> so same thing i what you'll see here you'll see the same type of stocks 
uh, in both my you know regular individual account and my retirement account because um, obviously I like these stocks I've done tons of research on them and really I do believe in them long term so this is why I buy on both of my um, individual and my retirement accounts here so uh, Avion Brands, same thing, same spiel. I uh, don't care about that one. That was a long-term play just to see on the, the cannabis industry. CRSR, again, $25 call, a little bit lower on the strike price here, but same uh, same results I'm hoping. I bought uh, two long call options on this one. Uh, Planet 13, this is a bigger position on my Planet 13, basically holdings. Uh, I have 1,300 shares of it current at a price point of $2.91. I'm never gonna sell these shares. Um, this is just a really long-term hold. Obviously I'm up like 73% even if we're in a down market. So again, as you know, um, Mr. Lynch would ever would always say, why would you sell out your, you know, your why would you cut your flowers and let your weeds grow basically? So again, if you're up like this and you're doing very, very well, you know, don't sell them. Um, don't sell your stock. Just Hold on to them and, you know, put in more money and invest in other stocks, you know. But anyway, uh, CDS, CDC, I mean, SDC, sorry, call, uh, Smile Direct, same thing. I added five more call options on this one. As you all know, Tattooed Chef, uh, my position on Tattooed Chef on this one is a little bit lower. I would like to get into it more, but obviously with, you know, this is a Roth IRA account, so I, there's only so much money I can generate. Um, and that's why options selling you know call and put options are the way to go in your retirement accounts because it's tax free and then also you can contribute more money into these accounts at a quicker rate rather than just setting the contribution limit at six thousand and then just sitting there and waiting for the next year right so um that's how i do it anyway um so again 300 shares uh price point cost basis twenty dollars and 47 cents um obviously i have a 22 dollars and 50 cent call option a uh, long call option on this one as well. So I'm pretty much breaking even right now uh, on it. Uh, very good food company. This is again, my biggest disappointment right now. Uh, but you know what I mean? I'm just holding it long term. Uh, my cost base is at $4 and three cents, a little bit high. Uh, obviously I'm down um, $6,000 on it, but that's okay. Uh, that doesn't bother me and um, I know what I'm buying. Uh, my WBA call, Walgreens Boots Alliance. Obviously I bought this call back a long time ago it's been a year almost i do have a couple more years on this call option so i'm sitting pretty right now i'm up on it uh, 35 percent um another thing that i've been looking to get out of is wish right now uh we i do sell um puts on it and i did get caught on a put i should have rolled it over which i didn't i just wanted to set an example um just for my a you know stock portfolio group that i that i do on patreon on how to get out of us you know uh, a stock basically if you're in this situation i made a couple videos on it go so go check it out but again i ended up just getting assigned the shares buying at a lower price since right now which is like at six dollars and ninety cents price a uh, stock price so i just kind of averaged down my cost basis here and i'm chilling at nine dollars and 23 cents and i think that's doable and again um, instead of just sitting there and waiting i ended up you know selling covered call options on it so seven cover call options at a $233 premium, as you can see. I did sell a $6 put on it because I don't think Wish is gonna drop below $6. So that's another like, you know, 23 bucks I made on short-term gains here. And then lastly, Workhorse is another one I kind of got stuck on um, selling cash secure puts, but I just got assigned on it anyway for the, you know, 200 shares at a $13.67 price point. But really, um, both of these stocks are all are on their all-time lows or 52-week lows. So I, you know, I did some research on them. I, I know what they what they do. But again, these are just short-term plays here. I don't mind getting out of them and you know putting more money into like to DCF when it, if the price point is good. But again, this is just kind of what I've been doing in my retirement account and, and you know moving around stuff and you know making short-term gains. And that's kind of what I've been trying to do more in my retirement account because of the contribution limits, um, you know, the Roth IRA, you know, lets you be able to, right, which is 6,000 a year. But I know this is a kind of a longer video, guys, it's about like 15 minutes, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is kind of my August 2021 portfolio update, and just to give you an idea, we're sitting pretty at like $80,000, um, and that's kind of where I am right now. Uh, 
basically. Uh, but I have been putting in money every single, you know, every single paycheck and whatnot. But again, this is what I've been doing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, getting this channel noticed. Also, check out my Patreon page if you haven't done so. Um, definitely, we can make money together and I can show you how to do it. But anyways, I hope you guys appreciate the video. Stay tuned and keep hustling out there. All right, wash your hands, be safe, be kind to another, catch you guys later, shoot. I took a trip to hell and back just to save my soul. There was a second I wrapped.